choose potassium sulfite salt from the table of salts. Place a very small amount of the salt in a test tube using a spatula. Then add one to two milliliters of water to test the solubility of the salt in water. Notice the solubility of the salt in water. Place a small amount of the salt in a test tube using a spatula. Then add drops of dilute hydrochloric acid. Notice the evolution of a gas that has a pungent smell. The reaction occurs as follows. Potassium sulfite salt reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to produce potassium chloride in water and sulfur dioxide gas evolves. Place a piece of filter paper in acidified potassium diochromate. Then place the paper at the opening of the tube that the gas is rising from. Notice the change in the paper's color to green. The reaction takes place as follows. Sulfur dioxide gas reacts with acidified potassium dichromate solution to produce potassium sulfate, chromic sulfate, and water. Place a small amount of the salt in 1 to 2 milliliters of water in a test tube. Then add drops of silver nitrate reagent. Notice the formation of a white precipitate that changes to gray when heated. The reaction takes place as follows. Potassium sulfite solution reacts with silver nitrate solution to produce white precipitate of silver sulfite and potassium nitrate. Place a small amount of salt in 1 to 2 milliliters of water in a test tube. Then add drops of lead acetate reagent. Notice the formation of a white precipitate. The reaction takes place as follows. Potassium sulfite solution reacts with silver nitrate solution to produce white precipitate of silver sulfite and potassium nitrate. Place a small amount of the salt in 1 to 2 milliliters of water in a test tube. Then, add drops of iodine solution reagent. Notice the disappearance of color from the iodine solution. The reaction takes place as follows. Potassium sulfite solution reacts with iodine solution to produce potassium sulfate and iodine hydride. Place a small amount of the salt in 1 to 2 milliliters of water in a test tube. Then add drops of acidified potassium permanganate. Note, notice the disappearance of the purple color of the acidified potassium permanganate. The reaction takes place as follows. Potassium sulfite solution reacts with acidified potassium permanganate solution to produce potassium sulfate, manganese sulfate, and water. This way we will have confirmed that the acidic radical of the salt belongs to the sulfite group.